Welcome to Little Tea Time. Welcome to Little Tea Time. Y'all ready? Welcome to Little Tea Time. Oh yeah. Welcome to Little Tea Time. Who listen? Welcome to Little Tea Time. Alright. Welcome to Little Tea Time. 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 All right, y'all, so good evening, good evening, good evening. It is your boy, your bro, your homie, Jarek, a.k.a. Jarvis D., your favorite published author's favorite published author, and welcome to A Little Tea Time. If y'all are watching on Instagram tonight, thank y'all for tuning in. It's been a minute since I've done an interview on Instagram, so I'm excited to be on Instagram with y'all tonight. To everybody who's watching right now on Facebook, y'all come over to IG. And hang out with us on IG or y'all can stay here on Facebook with me so we're gonna get into tonight's show um gotta definitely send shout outs to Bigelow perfect peach for the tea that's in the cup tonight got a little blend that I mixed up for tonight's show very excited about that um but before we go any further I hope everyone enjoyed their day yesterday if y'all had a day like I had yesterday y'all saw my post I don't have to explain. Just know that Boosie Juice. But make sure you eat and mix that with something. Eat and mix that Boosie Juice with something. And shout out to Lil Boosie for that Boosie Juice. It is definitely legit. Right? So y'all please be mindful of that when y'all get into that Boosie Juice. Um, Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day is a word that I'm sure some of y'all have heard before. If you're familiar with X-Men, the word of the day is gambit. Gambit in, is a noun from the Italian mid-17th century. And in chess, it's an opening move in which a player makes a sacrifice, typically of a pawn for the sake of compensating advantage. So y'all... Try to incorporate Gambit into your English language speaking vocabulary. Um, I don't have a, a word I can I don't have a way to put that into a sentence, but I will tell you this. Do not, do not, do not let today slip by without y'all incorporating Gambit into your English language speaking vocabulary. Or just like I did. See how I just did that? Cool. Um, definitely want love to encourage you guys to get over to SaucySonyaSpices.com and use my coupon code a little time one word and receive 5% off of your purchases. You will also have an opportunity to check out Chef Saucy's Buy As Cookbook available right now on the site. So if y'all have not yet gotten over to SaucySonyaSpices.com, I've already posted one of the new um, photos that they shared. I shared it also to keep you guys posted on things going over there at SaucySonyaSpices.com So y'all do not hesitate to get over there, right? Um, Gotta continue to send a shout out to These music artists I'm about to run them down to y'all for the week Um, Wait, I don't think I gave y'all the song of the week Hmm I'll say that song of the week for when we get finished Because I did not have an opportunity to get y'all the song of the week So by the end of the show, we shall have song of the week. So y'all hang tight for that. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to get into some of these artists. Um, again, shout out to Stone Hills on Mr. Willie Loke featuring Dizzy D with their single Man Cry. Doing great numbers right now. I know that they are working on some things to keep their music out there to the crowd. So y'all stay tuned for that. And um, I'll keep y'all posted, all right? Uh, also, shout out to Sweet Nay. With her single Thick Thigh also doing some great things right now. I know that Sweet Nay is also working on some new projects. So I can't give y'all all the tea. But it is definitely coming soon. So y'all stay tuned for that. Um, Shayna D Music also, also, also doing great things right now. Shout out to her with her single Pack It Up. That music video is definitely a hot one. If y'all have not yet seen that music video for, thick, um, for Pack It Up. 
definitely would love to get you guys to get out there check it out on youtube if y'all follow shannon d music on facebook or instagram y'all can also check the music video out on her page i think she does have the link for that over there so y'all can get into the music as well over there um also 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 ego tripping and official patience with their single above ground is also doing some great numbers i've been listening to this particular song it's a great message song definitely would love to encourage other people to get into that song and ego tripping is also working on some new things i know july the first he dropped his new single never promised tomorrow and later this week he is set to drop fake friends so y'all stay tuned july the 8th fake friends will be available to the public so if y'all ain't heard it yet get ready it's definitely coming soon all right um also 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 miss marche 318 i know that she's definitely doing some great things with her music right now and her single better days on spotify is definitely climbing so let's continue to support that um shout outs to marche 318 also, Miss Nisa Murray Amending, shout outs to you with your track, Love Me Not. Um, also, a great song right now. It's a great conversation song. If y'all have not yet heard it, I definitely would love to encourage y'all to get out there and check out Love Me Not from Miss Nisa Mar Murray. Right now, I got an exclusive because I just spoke to this young man a couple of days ago. Um, shout out to Marcus Wayne, a.k.a. Brown Wolf, who is set to release a new single entitled I'm Hot. And this single is dropping on July the 13th, which is my birthday. So, we've already got things squared away. Mr. Wayne is going to be over here on a little tea time with us, and he's going to premiere that new single with us here on a little tea time. So y'all come back for my birthday next week, next Wednesday, and we gonna have that premiere from Brown Wolf himself on a little tea time, right? Also, 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 gotta send shout outs to Miss Mimsy MC who booked her spot at the Ratchet City Music Fest to all artists, to every single rapper, singer, musician, whatever you do, whatever you do. If y'all have not heard about the Ratchet City Music Fest, the Ratchet City Music Fest is going to be legit. Definitely want to go ahead and get yourselves a spot booked for that if you have not yet. And get out there for it. Right? Right. Don't miss that. Um, And, like I always say, you can always check out these artists. Their music is available on iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify. Anywhere that music is available, you can definitely hear the tracks. So, do not, do not, do not, please, ma'am or sir give up these artists right cool um hey hey lgbtqia plus writers we have a submission call from handbasket zine issue number 13 there's no place like home he is requesting that you describe your hometown or your state and what memories do you have in a 400 to 700 word essay that can be submitted by july the 16th to handbasket zine at gmail.com right so y'all get those submissions ready for that new issue um breaking news today just got word from mr james joffrey that he is now enrolling in himself his acting workshop um his class will start july the 25th so if y'all have not yet enrolled for joffrey's acting workshop definitely want to get in on that while you can i know that he has several students who's already booked the class with him so y'all should definitely go ahead and get booked i took his class a few months back and i got to actually do an acting job after i took his class so y'all definitely want to get into that and do not miss it all right july the 25th shout out to james joffrey um got great great news shout out to shreveport's own miss ferrari fox um 50 over 50 honoree being honored with the Maddie Buer, Bauer, um, Buer McCalla Award at the 50 over 50 gala, which is going down this Sunday, July the 10th at 5 p.m. If you have not yet gotten your tickets, you can purchase your tickets at www.koka.am. All right, so y'all get y'all tickets for the gala. 
Shout outs to Miss Dorian Ford, who is said to be the guest speaker and the leader at the summer empowerment trip down in Florida. Congratulations to you, sis. I see that you are definitely keeping your name and keeping your brand busy. So congratulations to you and all of your success and everything that you're doing. Um, shout out to Mr. Idris Elba. Who got the Gucci campaign. If y'all have not yet seen the photos for the Gucci campaign. Y'all can go and check those out right now on Twitter. Um, he definitely did a great job. They definitely selected a great candidate. And it's hot shit to look at. Just saying. Just hot shit to look at. Also shout out to the TV show. Blackish nominated for the Comedy Tell Play Award. Congratulations to everyone at Blackish. Also, Pose FX is now, 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 now streaming on Hulu. Y'all can check out all the episodes of Pose on Hulu. So if y'all missed all the seasons, you can go and binge watch every season. So y'all get into that. Now, I'm going to do my event shout out before we bring in this guest for tonight, Mr. Ronan. But before I do that, I'm going to take a sip of this tea real quick. Ooh, good tea for the night. Mm. So, now, the event shout out. If y'all were not at Bears Fest this past Friday, or Saturday, at Bear Fest Saturday, y'all missed out on the goddamn show. I got to send a shout out to my boy, if he's watching. I don't know if he's still out there. But Mark Pugh, comedian and rapper, Mark Pugh. He killed it. It was a great show. They had a great turnout. Um, I was just blessed to be in the room just to hear the music. Didn't know he was that deep. And the bro was that deep. Um, shout out to all of the other artists who were at the event that night. They did a great job. Um, shout out to everyone at Bears for such a very successful event. Um, it was a very great time. I had a great time that night. Definitely, definitely am looking forward to the next event. And if you're going to be on the game, Mark, that's your boy. Nah, I'll come through and shout you out, bro. Um, it's happening this Saturday, the Shreveport Writers Club. We will be having our annual meeting. So everyone who's a member of the Shreveport Writers Club definitely do not want to miss this weekend's meeting. I will be in attendance because I've missed a couple of meetings, but I will not be missing this one. So shout out to everybody at the Shreveport Writers Club. We're always looking for new members to join the Shreveport Writers Club. So if you are a writer, if you are an artist of sorts who does writing, we would definitely love to have you come and join us at the, I want to say the Broadmoor Library this Saturday. We should be there at 10 a.m. So y'all come through, hang out with us, and um, we'll see what we can do with you being a part of the Shreveport Writers Club, right? Um, shout outs to Miss Hannah of Create It Hannah. Um, I saw her at the farmers market this weekend and shout out to everybody who was at the farmers market Saturday. Um the farmers market was absolutely legit. If y'all have not been to the farmers market in downtown Shreveport, I went. I got some um some pickled onion in there that I just put in tonight's meal, which is gonna be scrumptious after tonight's show. Um shout out to the um tk queen because i met the tk queen she had great tea cakes um shout outs to all of the vendors who were in attendance at the shreveport farmers market if y'all have not yet been to the shreveport farmers market definitely would love to encourage people to get out there um they are matching um people who receive um ebt snap snap food snap benefits and i just want to encourage people to get out there um, I went, I bought some stuff from my home here, and um, I just want to encourage other people, y'all go out there and check your time, get into it, right? Cool. Um, but with that being said, I have to send a shout out to Hannah with Hannah Create. I will be coming and see you, Hannah. I hope you didn't think I skipped out on you. I didn't. I know where you at. And I can come and find you when I come through for my ink this weekend. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to getting some work done. So I'm going to go out there and kick it with her. Now, if you have not booked your appointments with Hannah at Create It Hannah, y'all definitely want to reach out to her 
get those spots booked so y'all can get y'all henna tattoos done. They're gel ink. It's harmless, very painless, and I think you will enjoy the experience the way I did. I had one done. I'm going to get me another one done, and I want that second one to be my permanent tattoo. So, I want to encourage y'all to get out there and check out Hannah at Create It Hannah and get those gel ink tattoos done. Right? Now, with that being said, I'm going to get into the next announcement. And it is probably one of the best ones for me because I am going to try and make it to this event. Now, Shreveport, if you know and are interested in Kinky Boots, a new musical is coming to Shreveport next weekend. That's going to be July the 14th through July the 17th at the Marjorie Lion Playhouse. Showtimes are available when you go and purchase your ticket. So, y'all definitely get out there to the website. Check out Kinky Boots if you're interested. And go ahead and have some fun. Right? Um, Stay tuned for new shows this week because I do have other shows lined up this week. So I definitely would love to encourage you guys to stay with us, stay with me, and keep having fun rocking out with us on a little tea time, all right? Now, on to my Facebook followers who are celebrating birthdays. Now, I did not have a chance to get everybody's birthday in for everybody who celebrated birthdays, but I definitely got to send shout-outs to Makalani and Quinn, who are both celebrating birthdays today, and to all of the cancers who are celebrating birthdays over the weekends. Like, for um, example, she's a local um, artist from Shreveport, Louisiana, who branched out and became a bigger independent artist. She celebrated her birthday. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Adriana. Adriana, happy birthday, sis. I did not know that you were a cancer, and I probably didn't forget. But all in all, sis, I wish you a happy birthday. I hope that you had a great birthday. To all of the other fellow Cancers who are celebrating birthdays in July, happy birthday to y'all. I hope that y'all celebrated and enjoyed y'all birthdays as well this weekend. Right? So, now that I have spilled my tea, I am ready to bring in my guest for tonight. My guest for tonight, I met him at Words Over Lattes. He is a great, 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 great poet, a great storyteller, and an all-around good guy from the conversations that we had to me booking him here for a little tea time. So without further ado, if he is ready, I'm about to bring him in. Y'all show some love to Mr. Ronin. Just waiting on him to join the live. Thank you to everybody who's tuning in to tonight's show. Thank y'all for everybody tuning in. So good to have everybody viewing tonight. What's up, man? How you doing, sir? How you doing? Good. Very good. Very good. Um, Welcome to a little tea time. Very honored to have you in tonight. Um, And like I was telling people while I was doing your introduction, you are definitely a talent that I heard and said, yeah, he would be great for my show. And, um... So we're gonna get into it and let the people know a little bit more about yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's all good. Um, so Thank the, you for having me. Oh, no problem, bro. This is why I'm here. I want to give people an opportunity, especially artists, give them an opportunity to talk about their work, to promote their brand, and see how they can take their brand to another level. So I'm definitely grateful to have you here. Um, and I definitely am excited for you because I did hear you say that this is your first interview. Yes, sir. Yes, so absolutely. this is an an honor for me to have the 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 audacity to do your interview on my show. I'm very honored. Very honored. Um, we're gonna just dive right in into the first question. Tell my viewers about yourself. Uh, really, my name is Malik. I was born here, out here in Bossier City, uh, from Greensboro, North Carolina. So I did a lot of moving around as I was coming up, growing up. And really just came back to the city, see what's going on, kind of reconnect and, you know, get ready for my next stage. Okay. 
Um, so I know you've been performing at Words Over Lattes for a minute. How long have you been performing at Words Over Lattes? It's probably been about a month or two since I went in there. It's been longer than that. Yeah. I, I, I'll give you a good 90 days. Yeah. yeah I'll give I you three months. Um, and when we heard your work, when I heard you speak for the first time, you just you, you shut the whole room down. Thank you, you didn't need music. You didn't need a background. All you needed was that stage. And when you hit that stage, you commanded and demanded your audience's attention. And your words resonated with everybody. Even if it wasn't their situation, they were able to empathize and sympathize with you. And I enjoyed that very much. Very much. Thank you, thank you. That was actually my first open mic. Well, I know I tried to do an open mic uh, performance. It was like a couple years before that. But I wasn't really like as into it as I am now. Mm-hmm. So that was actually the first time I went up there to speak. It was the first time I met you and you was talking about your show outside. So I'm glad yeah. to hear that. Thank you. Yeah, I, I do my, my research very thoroughly. And when you came on that stage, it was like, yeah, he good. He got it. You have you have a factor about you that no one has what you have. No one can do what you do. And you have a level of sensitivity to your words, to your poetry, that it just it, it oozes. It oozes. I didn't know if you were a cancer or not. I didn't know if you were a July cancer or if you were June cancer. But you came off like that. So I was like, yeah. I'm a June Gemini. Ooh. Ooh. How early? June 14th. Oh, we, we lost you by a couple of days. Just by a couple of days. It's okay. Geminis are good. They're good people too. They're not cancer yeah, types like us. Yeah, yeah, he said that. He said that. <laughs> y'all, y'all are are definitely the equal to who we are, but y'all are definitely y'all own. But it's all good. It's all good. It's you all still good. have a home here at a little tea time. So the next question is: When you are not doing your poetry, what do you do for fun? Man, that's probably about it. Like I just read, not write. I probably go explore. Kind of find something new, do something new, but that's really the majority of where my time goes. Mm-hmm. Feel that. So, what inspired you to develop your idea into being a poet and a storyteller? Um, really, I always had like an affinity for writing. Even just growing up, I was able to like use my words, put them on paper, and be able to like relay messages and stories. I felt like at a decent enough level. But as a child, I kind of put the pen down for a minute just because I, I just wasn't feeling what was going on and why I was writing. Mm-hmm. So I think it was, I started writing again 2019, August of 2019. So I've been writing ever since then. So it's been about three years. And really, I just write about my life experiences. I try to console myself, counsel myself, try to. You know, understand myself and the world around me, understand how I relate to the world, how the world relates to me, and how I relate to the earth, and what's my purpose here being on the earth, and being able to understand those things and just get all that stuff out of my head and on the page so it makes more sense. Well, you definitely are doing a great job at it, because you wouldn't know it by us looking at you. So, you're definitely doing a great job of that, and I want to encourage you to keep going, man. Keep going because you're you're right on the edge of creating what is going to be your catapult. So keep going. Um, the next question is, how did you decide when to establish your brand? Um, I started sharing like my writing, my poetry with people like I was around, or just like random people as I'm walking like throughout the day. People were just. You know, looking for people to talk to. So I just started sharing my writing. And I started getting, like, a lot of positive feedback. So I was like, I think it's time I kind of put something on this, put a name to it, a picture to it, and then 
just move forward like that. Feel that. Feel that. So was writing something that you were looking to do, or was that something that you were always doing? Um, I think it kind of just happened. It kind of just happened, because I was sitting, I was actually, uh, I was traveling at the time, and I was listening to, because I think that's when Drake, he put Care Package together. I think that was August 2nd, 2019. And then just listening to like all his old music and stuff, like the accessibility. And then I just started writing. Yeah, Drake is one of my go-to artists. He's one of my go-to artists. I have a lot of his music on my tablet and in my cell phone and on my laptop. So Drake is definitely one of those go-tos. He's been a go-to artist for me since I heard his music back in the hot minute when he first hit the scene and gravitated toward his sound. He definitely has a great sound and he he's a voice of our generation right now. Absolutely. Um, the next question is how have your priorities changed since you started your business? Um, I think it's more like I don't think my priorities have really changed. I just try to put more emphasis on like capturing the moment and capturing what's happening, how I'm feeling and like not like always having something to write with, something to write on uh, if I don't have that to be on my notes like just not letting things slip away try at least get it down to where I can like re-look at it, evaluate it later. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I, I can dig that. I can dig that. The next question is what challenges did you overcome on your journey? I think the the biggest challenge was really going into words over latte is that first night and actually getting on the stage and like sharing it with people. Mm-hmm. Just being able to, I think the first poem I did up there was called Who Better? And just being able to be vulnerable with yourself and be vulnerable with a room of people you don't know. Because, you know, even though you're scared, shit, we all scared. Everybody's scared of something. We all fear something. Right. But, I mean, if you can't do it right, then shit, do it scared. I mean, shit, somebody else gonna do it scared and just keep moving like that. I'm gonna so th- I I will share so real with you, bro. But every time I get on that stage and sing, shaking in my shoes. Every time. Because I know the note could be possibly wrong. Absolutely, yeah. So, it's, it's a gamble every time I step on that stage just to sing. But because I do it from my heart, I, I I don't even care about the mistakes. I just want to be able to share my gift with other people. Well, that's what it's about. And and what we're doing is we're encouraging other people to like if you have a gift, share your gift. Share your talent, share your words. You never know who needs to hear what you have to say. You never know whose life you can change just by you being a, a light. For other people So don't never 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 be afraid To hit that stage I get it It comes with the territory Of us being performers But Eat that shit Conquer it Don't let it Don't let it defeat you Cause you got it That's what it takes Um The next question Is What strategies Did you use First To market Your business um, so really, I was just talking to people, networking, emailing, following artists, following poets on Instagram, just DMing people, sharing my work, networking as much as I can, and go to where those type of people, um, go to where those type of people congregate, so wherever you're trying to get into, it could be like food, or mental health, or I mean, just whatever you're doing, you just go congregate in that crowd congregate with those people and talk and the rest will come in time that's it you gotta go where your energy goes you have to be with like minded people when I met you that night I think I booked like six other people that night besides you yeah you said that I remember that because that was the night where it was just like damn I mean all these artists it's deep tonight the energy in the room that night was real big. 
It was real it was going on. big energy that night at words. And um, I had a great night that night. I think we all had a great night that night because it was something for everyone from music. We had poetry that night. The band killed it. And then when you stepped on stage, the room shifted. It was like the room shifted toward you because everybody gravitated to that piece. Can Do you have that piece? Say what? That piece that you did for us at Words that night? Because you did a couple of pieces at Words. Yeah, I think, yeah, the first one I did at Words of Wild Taste was uh, called Who Better. Was that the one that I heard you when when I um, booked you, or when I was working to book you for the show? Yep, that was the first time. That was Who Better. It, it, it shut the room down. It shut the room down. Like, the whole room was like... best shit we heard and I've heard I've heard poets speak their words but that night you did something that like I said you not only commanded your audience but you demanded your audience you had our immediate attention and you nailed it and and it seemed like you let that if you were nervous your nerves fueled you It, it gave you like Fire, and you you set that place on on. on it was on fire. That's all I like to say. It was good, man. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the next question is, how do you, Ronan, define success? I mean, when you're talking about success, it's kind of like it's kind of difficult to pinpoint success. Because, like, in the age that we in right now, the digital age, information and knowledge is so accessible. But then again, the influence is just as accessible and it's just as powerful. So it's kind of very, it's difficult to define success. Because at one point in time, you can, at one point in time, if someone asked me what is successful, I was thinking, like, benzes and cars and traveling and a whole bunch of excess stuff that really don't matter. Yeah. And as I kind of, like, start spending time with myself, spending time with nature, you know, realizing like there's a difference between the earth and the world that I was thinking of worldly success and at the end of the day, worldly success doesn't mean anything. So it's difficult. As far as right now, when I think success is right now, success is just being grateful. You know? Like, not thinking about what you don't have, appreciate what you have, appreciate who you got, who's there, when they're there, you know what I'm saying, the relationships that you have, don't have, you just got to be grateful, because now, in our age, we got social media, we got Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that stuff, all you see is a whole bunch of people with a whole lot of stuff, flashing a whole lot of stuff, and then when you're not grateful for what you got, then people start getting envious, and then you can already see just... Just now, watching the news before we go on the interview, it was some cats in uh, Shreveport driving around, having a gun battle right there, like in the street, running around. Whew. Uh, Deep shit. Deep shit. That just lets you know. Success right now is gratitude. Mm. And we, I, I, there is um, a post that I saw, or someone said it. Um, I think I probably posted this. I always stay in the spirit of gratitude always stay in the spirit of gratitude because when you're in the space of gratitude man it's your way of just acknowledging God like God I see everything you're doing I'm grateful for everything you're doing being grateful to people for what people do which is why I'm, I'm grateful for people who do this show because people don't have to do the show you don't have to take out your time to come do the show and when people actually take out their time to come and do this show that makes me more grateful it makes me more humble because again people can be doing anything they want to do and when someone takes out their time just it keeps me going every day and that gratitude is important because the world operates on malcontent the world operates on that greed and that desire Mm-hmm. So being able to keep yourself, like you said, in that spirit of gratitude, 
thankful for the things that you already have. You're not going to do X, Y, and Z to get ABC. And at the end of the day, ABC really don't mean nothing in the grander scheme of things. Yes. Yes. And, and we don't, we're not, we're not as grateful as we should be. We're not grateful people as we should be. We're not humble people like we should be. With everything that's going on right now, which I know I hadn't spoke on the war in Ukraine, but the war in Ukraine and Russia, that's what's teaching me more about just staying grateful, staying humble, because these people are losing everything. When I say you, they losing everything, they losing everything. And now they are having to be just grateful for people who are just lending them clothes, giving them food. Just taking care of basic necessities. And we, we don't even be grateful just to get through the day some days. We can be very, very ungrateful about just how we get through day-to-day -day life. So we definitely got to remain as grateful as we can. And, and literally practicing that. Practicing being grateful. Practicing being in a state of gratitude. Um, the final question before we move on to candy or corn... What's the best advice you can give someone thinking about starting a business or pursuing their dreams? Uh, I'd probably say evaluate yourself. And then when you think you got yourself figured out, reevaluate yourself again and make sure the things that you're going for, your desires, your wants, your motivations, make sure it's like, your reasons. I'm doing this because I want to do this, not because I want to prove somebody else this, that, and the third, or I want to one up that person, or I want to do better than another person. Just you gotta, you have to be very careful about the stories and the things that you believe in. That's gonna guide. That's gonna guide how you feel, and that in turn is gonna guide your behaviors. And after you get your behaviors, you get your rewards, your consequences. So. Just be very mindful of what you're doing, why you're doing it, and just take some time to figure that out. And then just uh, be kind to of people. I like that. I like that. I like that. That's that is the some of the best advice that I've heard a guest give on the show. I appreciate that. Now, with that being said. We are going to move on to my game, candy or corn. I am going to ask you about these candies. If you eat these candies, you can say candy. If you would not eat these candies, you can say corn. Are we ready to play? Absolutely. All right. First candy. Gobstopper. Wait, Gobstoppers. Gobstopper. What is that? Um, it's like a like jawbreaker. A it's a jawbreaker. Jawbreaker, nah, corn. Cool. The, <laughs> <laughs> the next candy is 100 grand. Corn. Candy corn. Corn. Rolos. Candy. Rolos are good. Rolos are good. Okay. Heath bar. Corn. Mike and Ike's. Corn. Mounds. Ugh, that's the coconut Jones. Absolutely not, corn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Skittles. It depends which ones. That could be candy or corn. It depends which ones. Okay, so let's go into that. What is your brand? Skittles, the all pink Jones, the all pink Jones. The, the um, the smoothies. Can't, can't knock it Is it like the smoothie blend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. That part. That's all I'm gonna say. That part. The next candy is Twix. Candy. Twix are good. Twix are good. And the final candy is gummy bears. The Haribo ones? 
Pain. The Pain. Nice. The, the, I, I grew up on those things. Grew up on them. Yeah. <laughs> I had, a, had a lot of candy in my teeth from those. You ain't got no Sour Patch Kids on there, Joe? No Sour Patch Kids watermelon? Like, that's the top of the top. Right? Yeah. See, that's these. this is this season's candies. Okay. okay. Next season's candies, we'll have a different list. Alright then, I get you. So, when you come back for next season shows, we'll have a different list of candy. Alright, I'll be a bit. I'll be a bit. Alright, so this is the time where if you have some um, events that you're doing or um, how people can follow you, things like that, give them your plug information, let them know how they can contact you. Um, you just follow me on Instagram, True Ronin XO. T R U E R O N I N X O. Email. I do writing commissions, write songs, verses, poems. I also do like business writing, so it's like copy, copy, business to business. I write websites, you know what I'm saying, that type of stuff. You can contact me at 11 Writings. 11, the number, then, B E N, writings at gmail.com and I'm working on my poetry book right now it's going to be a trilogy so it's going to talk about the poems entailing it I got a few themes I got three different themes but all the themes are going to show like progression from when I first started writing to now I'm performing and then where I want to see myself so it's going to be a lot in the poetry book Um, people people usually don't drop like trilogies of poetry stuff so there's going to be a lot of content in there. It's going to be good. It just, it's going to be great. And I can't wait to share it with y'all. feel that as a published author myself, congrats on all of your success going forward and right now. And um, you, you, I'm excited because you got something that needs to be given to the world. Keep giving. Yes, sir. It will pay in dividend. With that being said, Mr. Ronan, it has been a pleasure to have you on tonight. Um, will you be at Words next week? Yeah, I'll perform next week. I'm coming next week because my birthday is next Wednesday. So, I'm going to come Monday. I might get, get on stage. I don't know. I still got a couple of days to think. Um... But I will be in the building I will say that I'm going to be at Words Over Lattes Next week y'all So if y'all come through Y'all get a chance to hear Ronan Do one of his pieces You may possibly hear me sing But all in all um, Y'all do come out Support Words Over Lattes And Laugh Out Loud And with that being said Have a great one bro It's good to have you on tonight Thank you for having me. No problem. You have a home here at a little tea time, so do not hesitate to come back. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Have a good one, boss. You too. And that is tonight's show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank y'all for tuning in with Mr. Ronan, who was my guest tonight. Um, Before I go, I definitely got to send y'all out with the song of the week because I didn't hit y'all with the song of the week so song of the week it's going to Black Skin Mile by CeeLo Green from the Heart of They Fall soundtrack um I listen to the song practically every day and I am a fan of this song and when I heard the song in the movie I needed to hear the entire song. So, Black Skin Mile by CeeLo Green is going to be the song of the week. Um, I definitely would love to encourage y'all to get into it if y'all have not heard it. It is a great song. Um, It tells a story that needed to be told. And I am just such a fan of CeeLo Green and what he's done with music that yeah, it was just no coincidence that I was going to bring that song in for the song of the week. But all in all, definitely would love to have y'all check that out. Get into it. It's a great sound. All right. Now, 
that we are about to close things down here with a little tea time. I would definitely love to encourage you guys to get over to SaucySonyaSpices.com and use my coupon code, a little tea time, one word, and receive 5% off of your purchases when you use my coupon code. And be sure to check out Saucy Sonya Spices and their cookbook, Chef Saucy's Fire Ass Cookbook, available right now. Also, you can go by Agora Borellis at 421 Lake Street and check out my books, the Jarius Dion brand, the Coming Full Circle series, available right now. You can also check out my books of poetry, The Confessions of a Conceited Drama King, and Catching Up With Me, all available at that location. And you can also check my books out at Amazon.com. Just type search Jarius, J-R-A-Y-I-S, Dion, D-E-Y-O-N-D. And you can check out the Coming Full Circle books there. Um, yeah, the Coming Full Circle brand books. You can also check out my books of poetry as well over there. The Confessions of a Conceited Drama King. Catching Up With Me and Quarantine Quest all available now at Amazon.com Thank you to everyone who supports the books, to everyone who purchased the books, to everyone who supports the brand I appreciate you guys so much It means a lot to me that I have readers reading these books, to people who support the brand, to everyone who tunes into a little tea time, thank y'all so much for your time and your energy and your love and your support for a little tea time, y'all could be anywhere in the world for an hour and you come here and you hang out with me. So I appreciate that so much. Thank y'all so much. And I love you guys so much also. Um, you can check me out on TikTok at the Jarius Dion. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel at Jarek A King Among Men Thomas. And if you missed an episode of A Little Tea Time. You know you can go and catch that on Spotify, right? Yeah. Just type search at Spotify. A Little Tea time by Jarius Dion and y'all can listen to those shows um, I'm always 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 looking for other guests to come in to promote their brands to promote what they're doing out in the community no matter where you are in the states if you have Facebook or Instagram you have a home on a little tea time so do not hesitate to book with me today definitely get in that inbox because July is beginning to book up so let's go let's get it and yeah now with that being said remember the show's quote opportunities knocking you matter let's build and go higher Shreveport and as I say after every single show remember to be great on purpose and not by accident the future is now. I am your host, Jarek, a.k.a. Jarius D., your favorite published author's favorite published author. What the feather in my crown tonight. Thank y'all for tuning in. Come back to next time. See y'all later. And don't forget, song of the week. Black Skin Mouth. CeeLo Green from the Heart of They Fall soundtrack. All right? I'll get into that. Welcome to the Little Time. Y'all ready? Welcome to the Little Time. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the Little Time. Who listening? Welcome to the Little Time. All right. Welcome to the Little Time. Hi, Mom. I love you. Good night.